Hello everybody, today we're gonna to talk about the sunshine vitamin, vitamin D. Now one thing a lot of people get confused about or a question I get a lot is, what is the difference between D2 and D3? So let's go ahead and talk about that. Vitamin D is so important for bone health. Vitamin D is so important for immune health, for mood, to protect you against viruses such as cold and flu and it's no surprise that when the sun goes away and we go into the winter season we see things like cold and flu on the rise we see things like seasonal affective disorder show up more commonly that time of year well why is that it has a lot to do with the positive effects of vitamin d my name is dr olivia joseph i am the founder of dr olivia naturals and i have been using functional medicine and clinical nutrition in my practice for 15 years. I hold a bachelor's degree in biology, a doctorate in chiropractic. I'm also a diplomate in clinical nutrition and board certified in acupuncture and Chinese medicine. So now that we covered my credentials, what I want to tell you is I have seen thousands of people with this nutritional deficiency and there are some things that make you a little bit more vulnerable to being deficient, such as certain medications, elderly, people with dark skin, people who are indoors all the time, who wear sunscreen all the time. So what's the difference between D2 and D3? Let's talk about that. So D2 comes from certain plants like mushrooms. As far as a supplement goes, vitamin D2 is much cheaper to produce, but it is not as highly absorbable as vitamin D3. So D3 is what you actually make when you are in the sun, direct skin contact certain times of the year. If you're too far from the equator, even if it's a beautiful sunny day, certain parts of the country are just too far from the sun in order to be able to make vitamin D, which makes this deficiency so prevalent. I also see this deficiency show up in a lot of people that have chronic inflammation or, or are immunocompromised, such people with autoimmune disease. So when you have high levels of inflammation, it's harder to build up your vitamin D levels and your vitamin D gets depleted to fight against that inflammation, which is how it impacts your immune system overall. So as far as vitamin D goes, supplementation is very important for a good percentage of the population. You wanna make sure that you take the right source. I highly recommend vitamin D3 over D2 if you're going to supplement. There's also great nutrients that make vitamin D3 more highly absorbable, such as vitamin K. And vitamin K is something you can get in dark leafy greens. So certain dietary restrictions, certain medications keep you from getting vitamin D, making vitamin D, and absorbing vitamin D properly. So it's very, very important that you don't just have normal vitamin D levels. If you even get tested, which many people don't, it's important you get tested in the summer and in the winter. In the summer, so we can find out how well you make it, in the winter to see how well you absorb it, which is definitely a time that you need to be supplementing. Because research has shown that it's estimated that 41 0.6%, almost 42% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. And yes, this also can include children. So it's very important that we take this seriously because it has such a huge impact, not just on our immune system, but our bone health and the development of our bones during very, very crucial times, such as when we're younger or even when we're older. It's all, good bone health is always, always important. So is good mood. So is good energy levels. And that's one thing, if your vitamin D levels are low, it can lead to things like fatigue, aches and pains, issues with mood, brain fog, as well as getting sick more often. And really that sweet spot for vitamin D, if you're testing, is about 55. And what I see is too many people either taking the wrong type of vitamin D or not taking enough of it. So if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. Myself or somebody on my team will be more than excited to answer your questions and give you the support you need. If you've never tried RD, hop over to Dr. Olivia Natural's store, check out our vitamin D, and you're gonna see we don't just use the right type of D3 with the right amount of D3, but we also enhance its absorption with some key ingredients like vitamin K2. So uh, thank you for letting me share my passion. 
on natural health, on supplementation with you. It's something that I absolutely love doing. I love bringing you the science and the research behind just how prevalent this deficiency is. And this one is a shocker. And this is probably the most common deficiency I see on testing in my practice. There are some other really common deficiencies that don't show up on standard testing, but as far as just your basic testing, it's not that hard to get a vitamin D test. It's really not. But when you have a normal range that's huge, like 30 to 100, that's ridiculous. You don't wanna be normal, you wanna be optimal, you wanna be healthy, you wanna feel great. You wanna know that your immune system and your bone health is protected, and this is a key nutrient in doing so. Thank you.